guys, this is Kitsy Higgins doing another video today. So I'm really excited. Uh, I want to really kind of share with you what people ask me because I think, uh, you know, them asking that question and me putting it on here, you never know. It could help you who's watching this right now. So I recently went to an event recently this week and I met a really nice person and she was explaining how she's uh she seems as though she's really unhappy and uh she's been having a lot of anxiety and stress and uh she doesn't know what's going on so i explained to her i said usually anxiety and stress is a disconnect from your uh either mentally emotionally or spiritually and uh so it's essentially there's something going on and those three key parts of your body, uh, yet, so it's taking it out physically, in a physical way of stress and, uh, and anxiety. So I was like, so where is it in those three places that you may be experiencing? And she was explaining how she doesn't see why any of that would be the case because she just moved in with her husband and she's really happy and uh, and so she's like I don't understand why I would be um, having a disconnect considering you know I just got married I just moved in and this is amazing uh, yeah I'm not feeling that and I was like so I was like that's amazing you had all those so that you know here you are you fell in love and now you're moving in together and now you're happy. And I said, well, sometimes a sign of grief is pissiness and or being critical. And I said, and she's like, what did you just say? Did you just say pissy? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is. And she's like, oh yeah, I am that right now. Okay, so you're grieving something. So what is it? And she started explaining to me about, uh, you know, just some of the things that she really enjoyed in her old home. She lived with her mom. She saw her every day. Uh, she liked living in the country, and now she's around all these neighbors, and it's just kind of new to her. And I said, that stuff is totally normal. And it sounds to me like you miss your mom, and it sounds to me like you miss your old place. But uh, you may need to grieve that. You may need to grieve that house, that life that you had with your mom, with, uh, with you kind of being by yourself, having your own time, having your own things doing, um, to allow yourself to be truly present with your new life, which is this amazing house and this amazing man that you married. And she's like, I know this sounds so crazy that I'm not happy. Yeah. I have all these great things. And <clears throat> I explained, no, that's, that's totally normal. That's what happens when we have massive change. <clears throat> Something's coming up right now because I'm bringing stuff up because I'm coughing. So it's the truth. Um, when we have change, no matter what it is, good or bad, uh, sometimes you have to truly, sorry about that, grieve your past experiences, grieve your past life to accept the new life. And it's one of those things of how would you grieve a person? Would you, would you celebrate, would uh, you would celebrate them? You would want to spend the last, uh, just all those special things that you had with a person or a place or a job or whatever. I've done other videos where grief can happen and moving in a job and, and people losing people. I'm hiccuping, so I'm having tons of things that are definitely getting brought up and everything like that. So there's, and there's probably more, but it's any major life change. So you have to remind yourself, if you're having a big life change, you need to grieve it. Figure out a way either to celebrate or do the things you like to do before you leave or <clears throat> what other ways. Uh, just do whatever you gotta do to close that chapter in a nice, beautiful way so that you're able to celebrate the new one, celebrate the old and celebrate the new.
even colleges, like here you are graduating, you've been in this place for years, in this home, in this town that is now your new home, and then you have to leave it. I mean, you're going to grieve leaving college. That is a bubble, and now you're getting out of the bubble. That you're going to need to grieve that. So it's totally normal. And so if your senior being critical, your senior being pissy, that is a sign that something needs to be acknowledged from your past. So if you're feeling that and sensing that, ask yourself, what major life change am I experiencing? And then you might need to think of how can I close that chapter in my life for me to truly live my fullest in the moment right now. And that is pivotal. That is life changing. That is allowing you to close your past and allowing you to be totally fully present with where you are now so that you can truly be celebrating each moment with that new life and that amazing new life. And you'd say, but why am I being pissy even though if I'm having this amazing great life? That's just how your brain works. It's just how uh, how it is mentally, physically, spiritually, and, and emotionally. Sometimes our emotions need to be caught up Sometimes we need to um, mentally and spiritually get caught up to where you are physically. And that's totally normal and that's totally okay. And allow your, allow your time, allow yourself space, and allow yourself to celebrate your old to bring in the new. So I leave that with you. I hope this makes a difference. Comment down below where you're checking in from. Please share. You never know how this could help someone. And really, uh, if you are interested in working with me, please uh, reach out, message me, uh, book a free consultation. And, uh, you know, getting to that root of that issue is really big. And until you get to what it is you're pissy about or what it is that there's a disconnect about, it, you will continuously be critical and pissy. So keep that in mind. The quicker you get to that issue, the quicker you can unwrap it figure it out and be like, okay, how can I grieve that? How can I let that go and put that past in a nice pretty bow? Um, do whatever it is that needs to be done so that you can celebrate and really uh, appreciate your life now. So I leave that with you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care and have a great day. Bye.